I don't know about you guys, but growing up at some point in my life, I had a major farting problem. And truth be told, it didn't really feel like a problem because uh, it was so much fun. There was this one time in primary school, what you guys would call elementary school. My mom packed me lunch because that's what she would do since they wouldn't give me any lunch money. They would just pack my lunch from home. So... When I got to class, I was a backbencher, so I usually would have the chance to eat a little during the class. And so I started eating my lunch early. So while I was eating before the lunch, and then when it came lunchtime, I continued eating my lunch. Somehow, it's like I triggered a chemical reaction earlier that finished during this lunch. And so my stomach was growling, I was pressed. I couldn't leave the class anymore because they had already rang the bell for the end of lunch. For the first, I'd say, five minutes, I held this fart in. I was battling it, holding it, thinking I could go the rest of the day without letting it out. But little did I know, my stomach had plans of its own. So I decided to let it out little by little. Like a master. First one came out quiet enough, I guess. My seatmate, you know, she looked at me and I, and I looked back at her, and then everything went on as, as normal. I let out the second one, same situation again, but you know, thug life. I continued regardless. And then came the third one. This one did not want to succumb to control. And funny enough, this one was actually the silent one. So in my mind, I'm thinking I did it like a pro, James Bond. They can never see me coming. First things first. Somehow this fart went to the back of the class, killed everybody from the back to the front. When it was done with my class, went to the next class and finished them off as well. That was the first time. The second time was in church. So my primary school was very close to this aforementioned church and Whenever I was done with class, my mom would just ask me to wait for her there. And then when she was done with work, she would come there, pick me up. Or when they were having some extra mass, we would wait, tend, and then go home. So there was this time I just ate, uh, I actually ate my lunch that day. I think it was a good day, got some lunch money. And there was this juice that used to be in like a phone case, something like that. You pop the antenna and then you can suck the juice out. So I just had that. And then there was this sweet that used to come as a ring. I got some of that too. Then I can't remember the last thing I ate. But after this combination, my stomach was ready to explode. So I dragged myself all the way to church. And I was waiting, hoping that this fart would come out before things get serious. But no, it was chill. I decided to wait for the mass. So before the mass had started, there is this book they pass around. You know, with the verses, the first reading, second reading, you know, everything about the whole mass that's about to go down. So you can follow up with the readers and the priests. Cool. But while they were passing these, I've called them pamphlets. While they were passing these pamphlets around, that was when my stomach decided to kick in. But thankfully, it was a silent one. So I let it out calmly and the fans were on, the windows were open, the doors were open. You know, you would think this atrocity would find its way outside but no it stayed with me and stayed around me until i heard someone behind me she was, she was an old man I don't, I don't think she deserved what she got but she was like who is this person that is polluting the air in the house of god and then shame washed over me like an eternal shower and then there were a bunch of other times i lost track when i got into university because at that point i had already master the art there were other times when i would get into a bus or i was in a group of people and maybe i would drop one or two bombs there but that's the thing i can't understand why can't people just deal with it people have done it to me i've done it to people i can count the times when i would be in a queue and one demonic fart would just punch me in the face and then i would just take it like a champ and continue doing what i'm doing but I can also count the times when I would be in a bus and I would fart. And then there is always this person that will be like, wherever this person is, you are a very wicked person. How can you do this kind of thing? And there is always this other person that is like, ah, why, why would you do this A public space that we are sharing? I really can't understand. This is how we communicate with each other. You do it to me, I do it to you. It keeps us together. Good. All is well that ends well. I guess that's all for the story time. But the moral lesson here, whenever you do feel pressed, 
don't hold it in no matter what but but do the rest of the public a favor and dispose wisely <laughs>